Hey everybody, it's Kate with Crate Insider, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about our Arts Thermostat Regulator System. Now this is how it comes from us here at Crate Insider. Uh, we've got a bag, or just to show you what comes in the bag, the box, whatever you want to say, is we've got the entire assembly right here, and then we've got a gasket and a couple of bolts. Now let's talk about why this is a, uh, why you would want to use this. This is especially helpful for our customers who are running E85, because with E85, many of you are finding that is much more difficult to bring your water up to temperature before you can even go out into the track or bring your engine up to temperature. You end up spending a lot of fuel to try to make that happen. And with this thermostat system, what that will do is it will prevent you from having those issues. You can get up to temperature a lot faster, save that fuel, get up to temp and get out there on the track. So now some other, the way this works, just to let you know, is this is a lot different than your regular thermostat system and that's why we're calling it a thermostat regulator system. Most of your thermostats are just going to cut off the water so that it just heats up in the engine and then when it gets to temperature then it runs through the system and you have a big flash between hot and cold. Now the way that this system works is that this thermostat is set up to 180 degrees. Now you see this extra hose here um, as, I, as I've said we've got the thermostat system, we've got the water outlet um, and we have this hose right here. And in order to in install this system, what we'll do is we will put this where your, where your water outlet goes right here, and this hose will go back into your water pump. And with this going back into the water pump, what it, that is doing is it is recirculating that water. It is making it so that instead of your of your water pump just being full of water, you've, if you've got a deadhead thermostat system, that water is just sitting in there and that pump is continuing to pump and that pump can cavitate. So what we want to do is prevent that. We want to have continuous flow throughout the system and that is what this will do. So to install this, we'll just put a gasket on the top of this water outlet, set this on top, and then this hose right here is just going to connect into your water pump. Uh, we put the bolts in and then on a 604, big difference between these, with a 602 you're not going to see these inlets back here at the back because with the 604 we're going to use our intake manifold water lines in order to connect to this system. Uh, with a 602 you don't have that so you don't have to worry about that. So we have slightly different systems. I also brought another one out here too. You have different options so whether you have a 602 or a 604 and then what you want for your water outlet going into your radiator. So the, we offer this as a dash 16 or as a dash 20. So that's what I have for today. I want to thank you for watching. Thanks you so much for checking out this video. And if you have any questions, drop them into the comments and I'll come back here and, and get, get answers for you. Have a great day. See you soon.